And I was all like, smell you later, sucker. <laughs> Hello? 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 There'll be other calls. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, Mian speaking, how may I help you? Hi, I'm in my car and- Boop, boop, back it up. You cannot be talking on your cellular device while operating a vehicular device. Yeah, but- Unless, of course, you're using a Bluetooth hands-free type device. Are you currently using a hands-free Bluetooth type device? No. I am afraid I'm gonna have to terminate this call. Whoa, wait, wait, no, I, I'm dry, I'm not driving. Not driving, huh? Yeah, so my car won't start, I just... You know, that is sort of a blessing in disguise because if you were driving and talking on the phone to me, that would just be a recipe for disaster. But then again, why would you be driving and then trying to call me to figure out how to get your car started? Right, so... You know, I once had this guy who whenever he was in the car, he would text and he would call. To be fair, he wasn't driving or anything like that, but it was pretty annoying to have as a passenger, if you know what I'm saying. Oh. I almost think that being a passenger is just as much responsibility as being a driver. Think about it. You gotta be the navigator, you gotta pick the music, which in itself is just stressful. I mean, what if you pick Taylor Swift in a car full of Kanye West fans? What if you turned on Taylor Swift in a car full of Kanye West? He'd be all like, I'm gonna let you finish that song or whatever. I just wanna let you know that I think Beyonce's song is way better. And then I have to change the song and then- I'm just trying to get my car started so I can go to work. I have been there, sister. You work, you work, you work on your daily grind, just trying to get through the rat race of life. But you know, you gotta find time for yourself. Like I wanted to run a half marathon. That was gonna be my thing. Get back in shape. But didn't train, didn't have time, showed up to the race, was sweating, heaving the whole way. The only guy that finished behind me was this fat uggo who had the gall to come up to me after and be all like, yo, it was really nice running with you. We should go out sometime. And I was all like, smell you later, sucker. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, friends and fans. Welcome to Super Science with me, Melvin. This is where I do amazing experiments and create awesome inventions. Today, I've created something cooler than Iceman. My own patented non-stick gum. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, shoot! 